vacuum infused construction, twin stepped hull made in Austria by a family owned company that basically has no equal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Frauscher 1414 Demon. I'm so excited to bring this boat to you today. We are gonna be test driving this boat right now. If you're interested, pricing is in the description below. And if you wanna see a detailed walkthrough, stay through to the end of the video and I will link to that as well. My name's Dan Jones, you're watching Dan's Boat Life. This is gonna be a fun one, let's go do it. So cool's an understatement, guys, as to how you feel behind the helm of this Frauscher. This is just absolutely exquisite. Right now, I'm cruising at 2,500 revs. I'm just gonna pass in close by these cliffs so you can appreciate the looks of this thing. And these are the kind of places you're gonna go to on a boat like this. We're running the twin 440 horsepower Volvos. Uh, from what I've just discovered with the drone, these engines are very well suited to this hull. So once again, she's a twin air stepped hull. She's got a good amount of V, tapers off at the back of the boat and lots of cutting action up at the front. So even through some of the uh, mild waves we've had, mostly from boat wash today, but we have had a few short and sharp ones. She really slices through it exceptionally confidently, not a lick of water over the bow or over the side. So from a guest perspective, this boat is gonna be wonderful, like absolutely wonderful. Here where I am at the helm, I just feel like I'm in total control. I'm centrally positioned in the boat. I can see all the extremities. When I stand up or on the bolster just here, I've got the wind uh, coming over the windscreen and just coming into my face. Or if I sit down here, I'm completely protected from the wind. So that's an option you have just there. So just cruising at 2,500 revs, we've got a fuel flow of 74 litres total, and I'm just gonna increase that because I'm doing 21 knots. I feel the cruising speed on this baby is going to be a little bit more than that. So let's give her some more power. I've got her on auto trim at the moment. So that's the trim assist button through the duo prop stern drives, and that just does all the thinking for you. And I would suspect in most conditions on this boat, you're probably just gonna use that. Just running straight lines for now. Coming up 23, 23, 24 knots. And now let's bring it through to 2,800 revs and then to 2,900 revs, climbing through 25 and 26 knots. I'm just gonna sit it on 2,800 there for a second. That's giving me 26 and a half knots, a fuel flow of 90 litres. I feel the optimum cruise is just gonna be a smidgen more. Let's give it, let's give it 2.9. Just listen to those motors. So feel that guys. 27 to 27 and a half knots at 2,900 revs. You're sipping 93 litres total. Now I believe that's a good speed return on fuel investment. The, the, the hull just feels really, really well balanced. Exceptionally well balanced. This is, actually I'm so excited to show you guys the walkthrough because the attention to detail, the craftsmanship on this boat is amazing. It really, really is. And the fact that this is a family owned builder really, really shows. I see a lot of boats. I test a lot of boats, I view a lot of boats, and the, the factories that are family owned, you can often notice a difference, and you absolutely can on this Frauscher. So ju just hooking the turn in there, doing a gradual one, and increasing the speed. Okay, coming up from 3,000 revs, just break at 3,100. So we got the 21 knots. I feel like I could almost disengage the uh, active trim at this speed and just do manual trim, but I'm gonna leave it engaged for now and just see how she responds. 32 knots, 33 knots. The wind over the decks is quite pleasurable. This is a sunny day boat. This is a 
summer boat. You're not gonna take this thing out in, in inclement weather, so don't even focus on that. 34 knots. Okay, I'm gonna do wide open throttle. 150 litres and climbing, that's fuel consumption, 36 knots, 3,600, 3,700. I'm still not foot to the floor, there I am, foot to the floor. 3,700 revs, 37, 38 knots, easy peasy, smooth and direct. <coughs> Excuse me coughing, I've got a little bit of a cold. Alrighty, smooth, direct, super amounts of control, and you can feel the air steps really, really working for us right now. So I'm just gonna come back to a regular cruise speed right now, and this time I'm gonna hook the boat in to a turn and do some S turns. So we might just do a 360 here. I'm just gonna disengage the trim, trim assist now, and I'm gonna play with it in manual mode. The heel angle is fun, it's sporty, but it's not the sort of thing that's going to scare people, I don't believe. If you're taking guests out on a boat like this who aren't used to boating, they're going to just feel super secure, super comfortable, and, and <laughs> amazingly sexy, because that's the vibe you get on this boat. You know, it talk about, talk about making awesome entrances this is what you do on this boat so i'm going through some waves right now passing passing through my own swell parted it really confidently and entering a few s turns at a speed of 30 knots i'm actually going to wind that back to my cruising speed of 27 and just keep the boat turning so confident i like sitting up on this bolster I actually think I prefer looking over the windscreen just because I feel like I have more control. If I had a guest next to me, they can be really actively engaged in the experience as well. And my guests are sitting down one level, so they're gonna feel engaged, but more protected by this windscreen. Look around one more turn. Amazing. Guys, seriously, this is the apex of boating performance this is the absolute upper limit of day boats and this frouser just shows you can't you cannot say a bad thing about how this thing performs it's absolutely exquisite this, this really is a boat without equal i'm going to pull it into a bay right now have a little practice of this joystick we do have the bow thruster and i'm going to go through all the finer details on the dash in the walkthrough so keep watching for that Rightio, we've just uh, escaped into a little protected bay here. Got some ancient mine behind me, a beautiful fort or something up on the cliff there and lots of fancy houses. So this is the kind of place you'd come to in a frasher like this. Uh, but it's worth uh, testing the slow speed maneuvering uh, of this boat. So first things first, your position is excellent. Your access to the side decks, both sides, if you're solo operating, is really, really good. You do have this one step here that you just got to factor in, but they have got a handle there and there if you need to move to starboard. And moving to port, you don't have that hindrance because you've just got these stairs going forward. And you do have midship cleats on either side. So that's all very possible. Obviously, here in Europe, you're going to be doing a lot of stern to med mooring, uh, but I'm also just talking to the Aussies and Americans of you watching as well. Now, the steering wheel is adjustable, uh, but my space between the, um, uh, the seat and the helm is adequate, but you could create a little bit more if you needed. And then the throttle is in quite a natural position uh, for your right hand. Um, this is the stern drive with joysticks. So um, not all joysticks are made equal and I put that down to different hull shapes. So some boats that I test with um, joystick through stern drives are not that responsive and some are, so we will find out. First things first, so let's actually just try with the good old fashion method with the throttles and we'll, we'll try some transverse thrust and see how responsive she is very okay heaps of torque there not going to have any issues swinging this boat around on a dime just doing it the old-fashioned way and you can pretty much keep it on the same spot with a little bit of tweaking of the throttle so that's good 
Um, now let's activate the bow thruster and see how powerful that is. Sleepner, never heard of that before, so feels quite talky. Not a bad backup, so she is a long 10, call it 12 ton when she's loaded boat, so there's a lot of weight to move there. And let's just try that again. So I wouldn't say it's the strongest bow thruster I've ever used, but it's there as an aid and I would still option it because the leverage applied from the back of a boat from, from stern drives uh, compared to the IPS is always gonna be a little bit more. So now let's try this joystick uh, and see what it's like. So I'm just gonna try a turn on the spot. I've got it in low mode at the moment. Yeah, very good. Nice and controlled moving at a sensible pace. Okay, so now I'm going to switch it to high mode and we'll just keep turning in the same direction and just see what. Yeah, see, listen to that. It really does give you a lot more power to play with when you need it. So now let's just go from a turn to a side slip, so I'm gonna side slip the boat to port. Very easy, guys. I think having this central helm position, uh, visibility forward and aft, and operating the joystick, you know what? Even if you are a good throttle driver and you're looking at this boat, I'd still just op option it with the joystick because that's gonna make your life so much easier. So that's, yeah, very good. For, so from a parking perspective, I see no issues whatsoever with this boat. Uh, and I think if you're comparing this boat with say some of your really high performance cutting out, cutting bow style boats, or maybe your med style fjord type day boats, um, I think this Frauscher sits in the middle there somewhere. It is very direct in terms of the feedback that this drive gives you. Uh, you will hook into a turn and hold your line very confidently. And I put that down to the twin air steps and the deep V that we've got on this boat. And she's a long boat. So we're getting a lot of directional stability. So when you tackle head on swell, she's gonna cut it up like a beast. And then when you're maneuvering the boat in and out of swell or through the waves, she's gonna track where you point her. So if you're looking for, if you're looking for fun, if you're looking for feedback, and if you're looking for a boat that goes where you point it, this is absolutely one of those boats. It's gonna just give you that extra level of pleasure without scaring people and giving you, I guess, what you're looking for in something like this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. I really appreciate every one of you and I try to respond to all the comments as quickly as I can. Been doing a little bit of traveling lately, so I'll get back to you. Who's, I know some of you are probably waiting a little while. Um, wow, what an amazing boat. What an amazing experience. This is absolutely at the top end. As I suspected, it has been confirmed. It's incredibly direct, incredibly enjoyable to drive. And if that's the sort of experience you're looking for, this Frausch is gonna absolutely do it for you. If you're interested in a very detailed walkthrough, that video is separate to this. So click on the link coming up on the screen right now.